Hello dear friends, this is your personal English coach Professor DC and in this video we will be understanding a play written by the world famous playwright William Shakespeare. It is called The Tempest. In this video I will be explaining Act 1, Scene 1. But before we understand the play, we should know what is the meaning of the title. What is a tempest? A tempest is a violent windy storm. For example, we can say the screaming tempest raged around the house. So a storm but not an ordinary one. A storm which can damage and destroy. Having understood the title, let's begin with Act 1, Scene 1. Now at what location is Scene 1 unfolding? Scene 1 happens on a ship which is on the sea, which is sailing at the sea. And the scene begins with a thunderous noise, a tempestuous noise. There are loud noises of storm with thunder and lightning. That is the beginning of this scene. So first of all, there is this master and boatswain talking to each other. But what is a boatswain? A boatswain is a ship's officer in charge of the equipment and the crew. Now, because there is noise, because there is thunder, because the situation is scary, the master of the ship calls the boatswain. Boatswain! Boatswain replies, Master, what can I do for you? Tell me how can I help? The master tells the boatswain, My good boatswain, please prepare everyone for the storm and do it fast before our ship is broken into pieces. Go and get everyone prepared very quickly and the master exits from the scene all the members all the sailors or we can say mariners enter or they gather around the boatswain the boatswain tells them dear all we have a storm coming up as you already can experience it this is the way you should handle the ship this is the way you should do things and that too very quickly you should control the upper sail and constantly listen to the master so the boatswain instructs all the mariners or the sailors the boatswain prepares them to fight the storm and eventually the boatswain talks to the storm blow as much as you want blow your heart out as long as we have enough energy to save the ship from drowning or going aground now the boatswain has instructed all the sailors or you can say mariners and soon after that there are some people that enter the scene their names are Alonso, Sebastian, Antonio, Ferdinand, Gonzalo and few others now who are these people that surround the boatswain you might want to write it down Alonso is the king of Naples and father of Ferdinand. Sebastian is brother of Alonso, the king of Naples. Antonio is Prospero's brother. Ferdinand is the prince of Naples and son of Alonso. Gonzalo is a trusted counselor or you can say advisor to the king Alonso of Naples. But who is Prospero? Prospero, as I've mentioned on top, is the Austed Duke of Milan. So, it is very clear that people on the ship were not the ordinary people. They are VIPs. And they are the people of a higher reputation. Now, these people are also tensed because they can also experience the storm. And Alonso tells, he tells the boatswain, be very careful boatswain, you are a really good person. Where is the master? Why don't you make your men work? Boatswain, who is already busy, tells Alonso, please stay below your deck sir, I am doing my job. Again, Antonio tries to bother Boatswain and asks him, Boatswain, where is the master? Boatswain is already 
busy and occupied and now is getting irritated by these questions he answers he's busy can't you hear him speaking out loud and giving orders you are just obstructing me and getting on my way why don't you stay in your cabins you are just helping the storm if you keep on interrupting me we will drown you're helping the storm and not me then Gonzalo observes his behavior and tells both Swain to relax be patient calm down both Swain is already irritated he answers Gonzalo and says that I am irritated because of the storm now get out of here all of you and then he asks one very important question to the crew he asks do you think that these waves and the storm knows your reputation or position do you think the storm is aware that I am just a boatswain and you are VIPs and officials and again in an irritated tone he instructs everyone to go back to their cabins he says go back to your cabins and keep silence please do not bother me and my men here Gonzalo again reminds him just remember who you've got on your ship just make yourself acquainted with this knowledge and we know Gonzalo is an honest and a true advisor to the king so he is speaking good words he tells Boatswain good Boatswain just remember who you have on your ship in short he's trying to tell the Boatswain to work harder and harder because men on the ship are having a great reputation and they are kings and prince and all of those now Boatswain responds he says I don't care about you all right now I just care about myself he knows that Gonzalo was the king's advisor so he replies Gonzalo that all right you are the king's advisor do you have any power to calm down the storm to calm the storm down do you have such powers if so go ahead and use your powers use your authority if you cannot do it if you have no power or strength to ask the storm to calm down then shut up and go back to your cabin and then Boatswain again starts working hard to save the ship he says good sailors good mariners work hard and then again tells all the people to get out and stop bothering boat Swain Gonzalo starts speaking after boat Swain exits Gonzalo says that he is feeling great after talking to the boat Swain Gonzalo thinks that this boat Swain is a very witty person he's not a person who can get drowned easily his words tell me thanks Gonzalo his words tell me that he is a person who was born to be hanged because of his words then he wishes that Boatswain be hanged Gonzalo also thinks that the rope which is used to hang this person Boatswain will do a lot better than the rope used to run the ship the rope which are there on the ship and then he adds by saying that if this person is not hanged then we are unlucky Gonzalo exits with his courtiers we see Boatswain in the scene again and he is busy giving quick orders to the mariners he is shouting on top of his voice he is saying bring down the top sail quicker faster make sure everyone that the ship is sailing close to the wind and then we see that some people are shouting off stage now the noise is coming from the same place where all the VIPs went so Boatswain is thinking these men are making so much noise they are even louder than the storm and after that we see Sebastian Antonio and Gonzalo coming to both Swain once again because we know everybody is in panic mode we know both Swain is already irritated by these men because they are obstructing and so he tells them why are you here again do you want us to be drowned 
Shall I give up whatever I am doing? Shall I ask my men to stop whatever they are doing and let the ship drown? Let the storm swallow us? Sebastian gives abuses in return. He says, you are a loud mouthed barking dog. Shut your barking you dog. Control your throat. Boatswain replies, go back to your places and start working. Antonio also gives abuses to the boatswain and tells, why don't you die? Your life is pathetic and you are miserable. You are a rude bastard. We are not as afraid of drowning as you are. Gonzalo again reiterates and says that this man, this boatswain will never drown even if the ship was very weak and fragile. And then there are some metaphors used. The ship is compared to that of a nut shell. What is a nut? Nut is a fruit and shell is a covering. So if the ship was as weak as a fruit with covering, which means if the ship was weak, even if the ship was weak, this man would not drown, tells Gonzalo. Another metaphor, as leaky as an unstanched wench. Unstanched is uncontrolled, wench is a woman. And uncontrolled women is associated with another word leaky we know Gonzalo is giving abuses as well so he is first telling everyone that boatswain will not die even if the ship was weak and even if the ship leaked as a uncontrolled woman as an uncontrolled woman now this is nothing but the menstruating cycles that women have their periods in short but Boatswain has to work as well along with dealing with these men. So he's giving orders. He's asking the sailors to turn the ship towards the wind. He's telling the mariners that make sure that the ship is aligned with the wind. He's asking the sailors to make sure that the sails are in the correct position. So he is constantly giving orders and there were some mariners who came all drenched, who were all wet. They approach Boatswain and they tell Boatswain, Boatswain, it's of no use. We have tried our best. We did our best. Now it's time to pray. Pray for our lives. We are done with everything. Boatswain is in a deep shock. He is in sadness and answers the mariners and questions he says are we really going to die must our mouths be cold when a person dies the body becomes cold so mouth represents body Boatswain asks the mariners are we gonna become cold are we really gonna die Sebastian says I have no patience I am panicking I have lost all my patience Antonio is still abusing he says we are going to die because we have been cheated by few drunk people on the ship. Few sailors who are not good enough, who cannot even control this ship. This big mouthed rascal. And then he abuses Boatswain and tells him that he, that may he drown 10 more times. Gonzalo is very sure that Boatswain is smart. And he tells something again. He says, this person is going to die by hanging, not by drowning. Even if the ship tries to swallow him completely, this man is going to die by hanging because of his deeds and words. And then people are running here and there and there are some voices heard in the scene. It may be of the sailors, it may be of the big reputed people. We hear sounds like have mercy on us god have mercy on us we are breaking apart the ship is breaking goodbye my wife and children goodbye brother we are breaking up we are breaking up antonio tells everyone to be with the king and he says let's all sink with the king sebastian says let's all say goodbye to the king let's take his permission to die and get drowned and then both of them they go to the king Gonzalo says he is ready to give everything at stake he is ready to risk anything he would give thousand furlongs of sea for a small piece of land 
for a small piece of barren ground just about anything he says he would always wish to be dry when he died he wants a dry death and then he says what is destined to happen whatever is in our fate will definitely happen and this is the end of act one scene one so let me summarize the tempest act one scene one it starts with a thunderous noise there is a ship sailing at the sea and there is a tempest you know what is a tempest tempest is a violent and windy storm not an ordinary one not an ordinary one it is a storm which will definitely destroy there is also lightning and rains and thunder and everything the master and boatswain discussed about how they can handle the ship well they discussed about what to order to the mariners in order to make sure that the ship doesn't drown in the meantime there are some very highly reputed people the king and the dukes they gather around boatswain who is busy in saving the ship boatswain is constantly requesting them not to bother him because he and his sailors are into saving the ship they're working hard to save the ship but again and again all these people are being an obstruction so boatswain gets irritated and speaks foul languages Gonzalo tries to comfort him but it's of no use boatswain constantly abuses everyone and asks them to be at their own places at the deck in the meantime boatswain is also busy in making sure that the ship is not drowned he is constantly working hard eventually the sailors come and tell him that they have done their best it's time they start praying boatswain is not able to believe this and everybody starts panicking and then Antonio and Sebastian thinks that they should be with the king when the ship is drowning and then they go back to the king and eventually Gonzalo wishes for a dry death so we see there is a storm and there's a ship and everybody is distressed the scene starts with a huge noise the sailors working hard to save the ship and the people on the ship in panic in stress eventually the ship breaks apart everybody gets drowned and scattered in the sea so this is act one scene one should you have any more doubts please let me know in the comment section and i will help you i thank you for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day